Good morning, Good morning again, children. I want to tell you a little story this morning, but first I want to know how many of you have a brother or a sister? Raise your hand. How many have a brother or a sister? Okay. How many don't have any brothers and sisters? Raise your hand. Okay, so some have no brothers and sisters, some do have a brother and sister. But I'm going to tell you a story this morning about a little boy that lived in Mindanao. Do you know where Mindanao is? Okay, well he lived in Mindanao. Now this little boy didn't have any brothers, and he didn't have any sisters, and he lived way out in the country, and there were no friends to play with, he was all by himself. And he was very, very lonely, and he wanted to have a playmate. So he talked to his mommy and his daddy, and he asked them if he could have a pet. He wanted to have a dog. So they said, well, maybe you can have a dog, but we first have to check it out. So the little boy was walking down the road one day, and he saw a sign that said, Dogs for Sale, and it pointed down a long road. So he went down this long road, and he went. it was a farm, and he went to the farmer's house, and he said, Farmer, do you have dogs for sale? And the farmer said, Yes, I do. They're over here in a pen. But he said, You can look at them, but not today. I'm very busy. You'll have to come back tomorrow. So the little boy said, Okay. So the little boy went home, and he told his mommy and his daddy that he found some dogs that were for sale. But they were 25 pesos, lots of money, and he didn't have any money. So his mommy and daddy said, we're very poor, we don't have 25 pesos, but you go back and talk to the farmer tomorrow anyway. So the little boy went back the next day, and he went up to the farmer's door, and he knocked on the door, and the farmer saw the little boy, he said, what do you want, little boy? He said, can I see the doggies today? And the farmer said, okay. So he took him out to the barn. And there was a pen of doggies there. And there were five dogs in the pen. Four of them were running around, jumping up and down, playing. One little dog laid over in the corner. Couldn't move, just barely walked, because it had a bad leg. And when it walked, it walked like this, because its leg was bad. So the little boy said to the farmer, he says, I want that dog. And the farmer said, you don't want that dog. That dog has a bad leg. He can't run and play with you. And the little boy said, I want that dog. And the farmer said, why do you want that dog? And then the little boy pulled up his fat leg, and the little boy had a bad leg too. And when he walked, he walked like this. He couldn't walk good either. And he thought if he had a little dog that was just like him, they could understand each other and they could have all kinds of fun playing. And the moral of this story is, is that Jesus loves all of us. If we have bad eyes, if we have a bad leg, if we can't hear, if we can't see, Jesus loves us and he wants us always to be his children. So always remember that, okay children? Okay, thank you for your attention. Brother Biel.